Hey guys, so I'm kind of nervous to film this video. It's been really been on my heart lately and as you can see in the title, I'm not okay, but that is okay. I just kind of wanted to share some thoughts. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna say in this video. I have a few things jotted down, but like, I just want to speak from my heart. Some of you may know um, if you are friends with me or not, I don't know, um, that I, how long has it been? <laughs> um, definitely within the past couple months, this year specifically has been really hard. Um, I've dealt with a lot of anxiety. I'm just kind of here to speak on that today. Um, I'm not gonna get into too many details or anything. I am more just wanting to speak out to you guys watching that if you struggle with anxiety, that you are not alone. And I wish I would be doing this video and saying like, I got the tips and tricks to cure you and like, you're gonna be great. Cause I'm honestly still on this journey as well. So I don't have all the answers, but I just kind of wanna chat today, drink my water that has some crystal light in it. <laughs> That's why it's pink. Um, I just kind of wanna chat today. I'm gonna try not to make this too long or anything. So just some things that have been going on in my life personally, like a lot of people go through different things in their life that bring on anxiety and makes them struggle with it. Um, but for me, this past couple months to a year have been um, definitely challenging. Things that I've never experienced before has happened. Um, just real quickly, without getting into too many details, um, just like finances have been kind of crazy. Um, and so that has definitely triggered my anxiety a lot um also um health things um i don't know if anyone has heard of the term like hypochondriac um my parents used to joke about that with me when i was like 15 and i thought i was having a heart attack because i was having chest pain due to acid reflux which if you have acid reflux you know that sometimes it's a little scary <laughs> but I don't know, just recently, I've been having a lot of different like health issues, um, which I've never had before. Um, I mean, I've dealt with headaches a lot since sophomore year of college. Um, and who knows, they could just be stress related and stuff, but when I get a headache, it's always like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. I know this kind of maybe sounds crazy to you that don't relate to that. Even over this past summer, I've had like, tons of different allergy type symptoms, sinus infections, skin infections, all this stuff. And it's just kind of been one thing after the other and I feel like I can't catch, catch a break or anything. And so that's been really hard. And it's kind of like a little cycle that it's like health things and then I'm, you know, anxiety acts up and everything. So that's been hard. And then also my job for the past two years has been hard um on me uh most of you know i've worked i worked out of preschool and i love kids so so much it just was not an environment for me personally for me it was very um i don't like to use this word but very like toxic and um draining and i was it caused a lot of anxiety for me and everything and so I quit that job in June and then I've worked as a nanny in the summer and that was good. But now I'm looking for a job and I, it's kind of like at that point in life where I'm like, who am I? What am I doing? Like, I have no idea what God has in store as far as career and even future things like, you know, kids and all this stuff it's just kind of like all overwhelming and up in the air right now so that's been going on and you know i'm not here today to like spill my problems out to you but it's more just like to maybe have it as more of a comfort that it's like if you're watching this and being like hey i can relate to that you know 
anyway, sorry, I'm rambling. But um, another thing that has been really uh, causing my anxiety to go a little, woo! <laughs> There's been certain situations involving the school slash church that I, Chris and I used to attend, which I'm not here to bash or get into any of that, but it's just been hard feeling kind of outcasted and judged, looked down upon by fellow Christians. And it just really hurts my heart that that happens. But I've been learning more and more to just not worry about what other people think because I have a people pleasing menta mentality, which isn't good. You know, what goes on between me and my husband, that's between God and I. And I've also um, had friends that just don't want to be friends anymore. And I used, you know, like best friends, not just like, oh, acquaintances or whatever, like close, like heart, heart to heart knit friends that are like, uh, you know, different paths, different things. And it's just like, what is going on? <laughs> and from someone like me who already has like, you know, another thing I struggle with is like low self-esteem and self-confidence and everything. It just is really like, boom. <laughs> like, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm such a horrible person, like worthless and horrible rotten sinner. Um, which, you know, that's just hard. But anyways, enough about my problems. I just kind of want to speak out today because sometimes social media, which I love social media. Social media to me is such a great way to connect with friends from college, family members who live far away, um, you know, meet people with similar interests, things like that. But social media is also very hard nowadays with the comparison game where you see all these people posting on social media like getting pregnant and like starting families and having a lot of success and like all this stuff. And then it's hard not to be like, oh, like I wish, you know, this or that. Or you look at people and you're like, oh, their life is perfect. But more often than not, it's not. And you know, there might even be people that look at me in my life and they're like, oh, you know, Jesse <laughs> is doing great and everything. But, as you have heard, you know, that's not the case. And I just want to bring awareness to that. Even as far as like body types, like I struggle with that as well. I feel like, you know, I'm fat and ugly and all this stuff. And you look on social media and you're like, oh my goodness, these girls are like so pretty and all this stuff, which that is not good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what I'm saying is making sense, but just know that social media is just a highlight reel and not a lot of people post real raw stuff, but I want to change that. Like I, I try to be, you know, real personal. Like I try to post not just the good, but the bad, obviously. <laughs> I mean, everything that I have posted on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you know, so far has been me, has been true. I'm not like putting on a front or anything. It's just, you know, going back to that people pleaser thing, like, just because I might have, you know, different standards than, you know, you or other people, that doesn't make me any less of like a person or less of a Christian. And, you know, I'm trying to preach to myself here. I just want to be like unapologetically me. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of good advice from fellow Christians lately and other friends like, just to be me and do you and you know the people that are meant to be in your life will stay there and stuff like that and it's just more of i need to be reminded of that day and day in and day out because little jessica's like they don't like me <laughs> why <laughs> or like you know they you know, if someone disagrees with something that I'm like, okay, like, what do I need to do? Like, uh, but it's like, no, you know, if it's right between me and God and <laughs> just want to be, um, Jessica Rogers. <laughs> um, and that doesn't mean like I, there's not things I need to work on in my life, obviously dealing with anxiety and, um, comparison, all that stuff. Like, 
overthinking, like, whew, you know, God needs to like be like, Jessica. <laughs> But anyways, um, this video is just me. I've kind of written some stuff down. I want to be more of a mental health advocate, like bringing awareness to it and ending the stigma, especially in Christian circles, because in Christian circles, it's always like a taboo type of word, anxiety and depression. That means like, oh, there's something wrong with you. Like um, you're, not doing good in your Christian walk, you're not, um, you know, you need to fix this, 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 and it's just like, that's not always the case. It's been really good, like, even talking to my dad about it, like, he's done a lot of research and, you know, talking to other Christians who deal with this. And also, I wanted to shout out um, Allison Yader. She has definitely been an inspiration to me. She talks a lot about anxiety kind of ending that stigma as well. So thanks, girl. I just want people to know that if you deal with stuff like that, you know, you're not alone and there shouldn't you shouldn't feel bad about getting help. Um, Cause that's another thing I want to do is let people know that it's okay to talk to someone. Just because of finances and certain things in my life right now, I haven't been able to talk to somebody yet. I mean, my own form of like therapy is like, I've been going to this Bible study with a couple ladies from church and that's been really helpful just to like, you know, talk about things and also meeting one-on-one -on -one with people. Shout out, you know who you are, you know, like people that deal with anxiety as well, like to get advice from them. So that's been good. Um, but one of these days, maybe I'll do like an update, you know, if I ever do actually am able to get help and stuff, I would love to speak on that. I hope down the road to be someone that people can come to or even now like if you are watching this and you're like oh I need someone to talk to I need someone to vent to I need someone to even pray with come to me I know I'm not you know a certified you know counselor or like I can't you know give you all the answers but at least someone to talk to because I know that helps me but i definitely want to bring more awareness and even get like groups together to discuss it even you know from a christian perspective you know because obviously there's tons of bible verses out there and things that can help the one i like to go to a lot is god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind i will never leave thee nor forsake thee that's kind of one of the reasons why i got this tattoo is to remind me that god is with me and i will not fail and he is protecting me and everything like that. And just to say that it is okay not to be okay and that don't be afraid to speak up. Another thing too is like self-care and like self-love. Um, growing up, I was always kind of, I mean, maybe just I didn't interpret it right, but to me it was always like self-love was always like a sin and selfish and like, well, there is a balance like obviously you don't want to be prideful and like puffed up and I am the best thing ever But you don't want to be the opposite like how I get into the mindset of like I am horrible and you know, I Tend to like take care of others before help, you know myself It's kind of like that whole thing with on an airplane, you know, they tell they give the safety instruction of like having a face mask, mask and they say, put your face mask on before helping yourself. And I've heard that example sometimes and I'm like, that is so true. Sometimes I'm always like, okay, like people, people, people. But it's like, then me, I'm like running out of oxygen. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but yeah, it's okay to have a little me time, relax and you know, face mask and all that whatever you do for self-care, like um, go on a run. <laughs> I hope this video helps some uh, people. Um, if you, like I said, if you wanna talk about it or um, you know, wanna talk more about God and like things like that, um, let me know, I'm here for you. Uh, I don't know if anything I said, I'm just rambling, but um, thank you so much for watching.
and yeah.